Your sister can help us. Oh, she's alive, at least. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And uh, Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. Okay. If it's presented to her as it should be. All right, so we're so we've got Marjorie's backing. That, that can help. Marjorie, Marjorie definitely has some power here. All right, so now we get to play as Mirror. Look at the Ironwood box. Look at the carved Ironwood tree. Ethan made this for me. That's Lord Ethan. Asha sent me this coin, to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Look at the finished letter. Read the letter. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. She never sent that? What else we got? High Garden brooch. Marjorie it was very to kind her? of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. Yep, see, I guessed right. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Lady Elena is awesome. She's hilarious in the show. Okay, what else we got? It's a dusty old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. That's not gonna happen. Look outside. What's this? A letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I didn't get to look out the window. But I want to look out the window. Hey. I didn't, I didn't get to see what was out the window. They were over here. I'm coming. Hold your horses. I didn't get to look at the fruit. Or this thing on the wall. You're just gonna come in, aren't you? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Ah, I was just looking out the window. No, it's fine. Come in. What's he doing? Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Who is this guy? Who is this gutter snipe? Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. I don't trust this kid. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Okay, maybe we do need this kid. <laughs> Tell me everything you heard! I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Okay. Good night, my lady. Good night. It could prove useful. 
He was really dirty. I will name him Pigpen. Oh, he even looks like her from the from the show. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. Yes, there's, there's something time. we must discuss. Okay. That's bad. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. It even sounds like what the voice actress. is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. Okay. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. I'm getting fired. <laughs> Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh boy. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some Yikes. sort for what Yikes. I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Oh my god! I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Okay. Humor her. We're gonna Tell have to play the game here. To hear. Yes, we're gonna lie through our teeth here. Oh boy, See this is stressful. Is She's scary. <laughs> She's really scary on the show. You'll be fine. I know you will. Okay. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I could do this. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Alright, this is awesome. There's Tyrion! Is that Tyrion? He looks short. Oh boy. You can do this. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, I can actually I, I can actually like walk there there there. I should catch up. Marjorie, wait up! Can we run faster? Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? <laughs> Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh, bow your head. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. Oops. House Oops. Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Okay. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. There we go. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. That's okay. A house of traitors. That's over now. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Ugh. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you. Ugh. If you have any <laughs> I messed up! <laughs> is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. 
and I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Sure. Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm doing. I see. I'm bad at the Game of Thrones. <laughs> what would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. <laughs> if there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. I like Tyrion. He's on my side. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. That's right. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Oh. I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. Uh... Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. Yeah. I will not have my time wasted <laughs> by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? <laughs> the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. Oh, that's funny. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh well. I don't I'd think like I did good. I'd like a word with you if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Oh, she gave me, she gave me like the side eye. I didn't do good. I'll walk you out. Okay. Well, I I'll hang with Tyrion. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. That's good. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Oh, I just said nothing. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. 
She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Hmm. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. Yep. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. See, it's a lot of the characters, like including Sansa on the show, they, they don't know that Tyrion's actually pretty level-headed and a nice guy. But I know that, so, yeah, well, we'll try to make a alliance with him if we can. This is not going to go well. I think Marjorie's going to be mad. But you said to lie! Mira, I was worried. I kept my head. It? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. For now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with <laughs> the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? <laughs> tarnishing. It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Yes. I'm told he has a paramour. Which he I doubt. He is quite handsome. Life. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Yeah, he's, he, he should keep his Perhaps mind on the prize when he's fighting the mountain. Introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. It'd be pretty horrible if it's Joffrey. Would you marry Joffrey? No! If you'd become queen? No. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen yeah. of the Seven Kingdoms. But he's like a sadistic little narcissistic maniac. Let's see, who else should we marry off? <laughs> Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. No, not really. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Uh-oh. Well... Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen I like that. The seating arrangements are a battle plan. Mirror. Oh, she's pleased. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. I'm smart like that. <laughs> your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. 
I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Let's ask for the help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Uh-oh. I don't want to say it in front of Sarah. It's about my family. I trust her. No. I prefer to speak with you alone. Yeah, because she's just going to tell. She's going to tell on me, so... Maybe, actually, she might tell on me now that I sent her away. Oh, see, she's remembering that. <laughs> There's no way to win in this game. Go on. Um. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Oh, that I asked is that, no small request. I asked on behalf of my mother. Now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Oh, Josh I should have asked my own too right. well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't fear Cersei. <laughs> Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. There we go, we'll get a little Ramsay saucy. Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but nice. I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my This lady. is a bad move for Marjorie. I will send a raven to my family at once. Don't send any ravens. That's a bad idea. Hmm. We just put her in a really tough spot. This is all going to get so complicated. King's Road. Alright, so we're going up. Going to the wall. Uh-oh. This guy's more action-oriented. I gotta be ready. Oh. Great. Just great. Seven elves. Exactly. Oh no. What am I supposed to play a little game, shall oh, we? There he is. Ramsey Bolton. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Oh no. <gasps> oh crap. I don't want to see. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. Why would we even need to watch this make at all? It easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. Why would I even peek my head out there like that? Flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Oh, no. What don't. was that? No, I made a noise. My lord? Shh, listen. Boogie boogie. No. There. It's a horse noise. It's my horse. Hear that? 
I know I heard something. Stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Running would have been really bad there. funny watching the show and reading the books there's like so many like really scary characters in this world and here you're actually like meeting them and interacting with them like no I don't I want to go back to just being passively spectating <sighs> these people are too scary is this guy alive oh he's flayed 